Hey everyone, Coach Tyler here, saying hi from our gym here in Marietta. Uh, today, I'm going to be giving you guys a lesson on how to do a Kong precision and a Kong step. Now, although I am doing this in the gym, this is a lesson you're able to do entirely at home. So with that said, let's get started. So uh, step one, we're actually gonna leave the gym. All right, so for step one of this lesson, you're gonna need to find a curb. First part, we are actually gonna be doing Kong ups and there is a very particular reason. The way we enter for a normal Kong is gonna be much different from how we enter for a Kong precision. And here's why. When we're doing a Kong precision, we're gonna be keeping our shoulders as low to the object that we're taking off of as possible. And by practicing on a curb, you're gonna to have to get really used to that. So, for a few minutes, I want you guys to practice being a low squat, trying to get your shoulders all the way as low as you can, and then doing a nice Kong up onto the sidewalk. Now, once you can do that, the next step is we're gonna be doing that same thing, but we're gonna be trying to do it with some distance. So when we land up on the sidewalk. We're not going to try to land here. We're going to try to land all the way over here. And I do not want you guys to be doing this with a run-up. We're going to be doing it standing, just like how we were before, trying to get distance. Get over here. Squat down nice and low. Hands on the object. And push. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take what we were just doing, but we're going to step it up a notch. Instead of just trying to get distance, we're gonna make a goal. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use this little piece of sidewalk chalk. I'm gonna draw a line on the sidewalk where I'm gonna be trying to land in a precision landing on. Now, if you guys don't have sidewalk chalk, you can also use any object that's heavy enough to not blow away in the wind that you're comfortable landing on that you're not gonna break. So, that'll look like this. Same thing, starting here, you'll be jumping up. Trying to land that precision landing position on your line. Once you can do that, we're going to need to find something a little bit different to the next step on. All right, so for this next part, I'm heading back inside the gym because we're going to need to find a long and kind of wide object that is about our hip height. So I'm going to be using this block. And we're going to be taking that same step that we were just working on of doing a Kong up, trying to get distance and land on a goal, except we're gonna be doing it with a run up on something on our hip pipe. So that'll look just like this. We're gonna go here, run up, Kong. Notice my shoulders are loaded up nice and low to the block. And then from there, I'm gonna jump up and land over on my goal. So at this point, you are pretty much doing a Kong precision. The only thing, that'll make it into like a real Kong precision is if you add something that has a ledge. So this will be uh, any wooden object, anything you can find. That's just something to land that's not the same exact thing that you took off of. Example of that for me is I'm gonna grab a precision trainer. Precision trainer set up, let's give it a shot. And there we go. That is how to do a even level Kong precision. That's even the harder one. But we still have another way we can do these and that's what I'm gonna show you now. Move my stuff out of the way. All right, so next up, we're gonna be doing some uneven Kong precisions. What that means for us is it's gonna be a blind landing, meaning we're not gonna be able to see where we're landing before we take off. So first off, you're gonna to wanna to block it's about your hip height. After you've found a hip height block, we're gonna do a lot of Kongs. You're gonna be probably practicing this for about 15 minutes, getting used to how much power you need to put in for a certain distance with your Kongs. This is your power gauging. So first off, we're gonna start with a small Kong. We're just gonna have a little bit of run up, maybe one or two steps, a little jump over. Pay attention to how much power you put into that, how much you got out of it where you landed. After that, get a little more run up. Get a little more speed, a little more power. Same thing, run up, hung over. Pay attention to how much power you put into there. And again, how far you made it. I want you to mainly be practicing your small to mid-range Kong precisions this way. 
High power is something that's really fun, but I'll encourage you to work on that after you've mastered this skill. You can try a couple. Further run, more power, more distance. All right, so once you get comfortable with all three of those, mainly the first two, we're then gonna try to land in an actual precision. First, you're gonna find an object. I'm gonna suggest something a little bit bigger this time, something more forgiving. We're gonna place it at the small distance. You're gonna start with just a couple steps behind the block, give a little run, try to land that precision landing. After that, you can move it to your mid-range. Same thing, a little bit further run up, a little more power, Try to stick that precision. These are what I want you to be practicing, small and mid-range. These are the foundation of our Kongs. Once you've really practiced this, got it very comfortable, and you have a forgiving object that's not gonna hurt you if you don't land on it, we can then try a high power, high distance Kong. So you're gonna run faster, put more power into it, try to get the stick on the edge. Once you can do that, you got yourself a nice calm precision. Excellent job. Great. <laughs> so now, for the very last part of our lesson, we're gonna take something we learned in doing our Kong precisions, even level, and we're gonna learn how to do a double vault. We're gonna do a Kong step vault, one of my favorites. So, if you all remember that progression where we did our Kong, and then we landed over at the edge where we got distance on our Kong, we're going to be doing that again. We're just going to practice it a few times, head and back, going for Kong, get some distance. After you can do that, you're going to try to land on the edge, on both feet, then put one hand down and step ball down, just like this. Get some run up, Kong, two feet, one foot down. Try to get that really smooth and controlled, very comfortable. And last up, we're going to try to land on just one foot, Put our hand down and step ball down. That'll look just like this. Get some run up, calm, one foot, and step down. If you have learned your even calm precisions and you've gotten comfortable with it, this should be a piece of cake, just a little extra step. If not, to get better at this move, I'm gonna say get better at your calm precisions first. Now, that completes our lesson. Thank you guys for joining me today, learning about our calm step bolts and calm precisions. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. See you later.